Uh, this is called All Night Nippon Super Mario Brothers. Uh, this game was only released on the FTS in Japan, and it was, it is actually an official retool by Nintendo for SMB1. So uh, we'll go through the run uh, while I'm going at it. So uh, we'll go ahead and start the countdown. Let's see, let me reset the console once. All right, here we go in three, two, one, go. All right, so as we notice already, some of the enemies are different in this game. So the Goombas, they have like these really freaky heads. Um, but as you can see, we are in 1-1 in regular Super Mario Brothers. Like just some of the scenery is a little different. And we also have the physics of lost levels in this game. So whenever Mario bounces off an enemy, he jumps slightly higher off of it. And of course, like the, the ground is uh, pretty much like the same design as lost levels. So like pretty much the first half of the game, we will see a lot of similarities uh, between SMB1 and then SMB2J or lost levels. So what we're going to do, we're just going to grab fire at the start here. Um, mainly because like some of these enemies can be a bit trolly there. So pretty much it's like the same game. But we will see some various quirks here and there. <clears throat> also, I apologize about my voice being really hoarse right now. Um, I actually I was at a wrestling event last night and I cheered a bit too loud, so my voice isn't normal. <laughs> this is a bit deeper than usual. But um, anyway, moving on. So this is 1-3. Since we already have fire, I'm just going to go ahead and finish the level right away. The Koopas stay the same. They're like some other enemies that stay the same in this game. But we will see a huge change here once we get to 1-4. Alright, so we're going to have our first castle level here. So just like in every Mario game, we're going to come up against the Bowser here. But what we're going to do is we're going to shoot him with fire fireballs. And we're just going to grab the axe to cancel the bridge animation. So here's one of the people I'm talking about. These are actually the different hosts and radio personalities from the radio show called All Night Nippon uh, for Fuji Television. I'm not exactly sure what their names are, but there is a wiki page about them. So instead of saving the mushroom retainers, we're saving the radio personalities. So with this game, uh, pretty much they redid some of the levels and they just moved the power-ups in different spots as well as um, like the vines, among other things. Like they'll take out the spring at the end of 2-1 and we have to use the invisible block to get through. So right now this is going actually pretty smoothly. So now we're going to head into 2-2. Um, this is actually the same as 7-2 in Mario 1. They just added like more enemies like the cheap cheeps and the bloopers. What I'm going to try to do here is not to kill a lot of them. I'm just probably going to kill specific ones just so that they're not in my way. Like basically that section right there. Um, that's usually a run killer when you're trying to go for PB attempts. And sometimes cheeps can be like a little trolly like that. So there is one, just one tiny difference about this stage here. The exits, they're very like narrow, so you would have to like um, pop them right through, or try to squeeze right through. So Supersonic, uh, yeah. we did reach that incentive for Small Fire Mario, by the way. Oh, we did. Yeah, we did. Okay, I'll I'll go for it in 2-4. Yeah, thank you. All right, so 2-3, nothing different. Still the same as 2-3 in SMB1. Although we do see like the creepy clouds in the background, they're smiling at everyone. So <laughs> that's a sprite from. Lost levels that they added. So yeah, uh, pretty much 
the origin of this game, how it came about. Um, there was like a joint promotion between Nintendo and Fuji Radio to create a game with the personalities and uh, just, I guess, release it in a limited amount. Okay, let me see if I can get Bowser at a good spot here. So we're going to go for the small fire glitch. So what I did is I touched Bowser and I touched the axe, or in this case the Fuji eyeball, at the same time. So the game treats it as if I got hit, but I completed the level. So it gets a little confused into thinking that I'm still like big, but I'm technically small. So what we're going to do now is grab this power-up, which is a mushroom, and it'll turn us small. And then the next power-up we get will be the fire flower. So we'll have the luxury of being small and fire Mario at the same time. I'm gonna get the next fire flower, which is actually in a different area. It's up here. Normally it would be on the bottom right of that section. So as I mentioned earlier, um... Oh, jeez. That was a weird hitbox there. <clears throat> like, some of the power-ups are placed in different areas. So technically, we are still small, so if we get hit one more time, we will die and lose the glitch. So we just gotta make sure we grab a power up here. So we'll do that right in this area. Let's make sure I don't get hit again. And you can kind of see that there's like microphones in the background. That's pretty much... I feel like it's pretty symbolic because of the way how the game is created. So things will get a lot more interesting once we get to the second half of the game, so after 4-4. But there are some uh, differences in that stage as well. Alright, so here we are going to go ahead and grab the Fire Flower yet again. So now you can see we are small and fire at the same time. And then when I shoot fireballs, you'll see us... Like, for a split second, you'll see Big Fire Mario show up, but it does not affect his hitbox in any way. So you're pretty much free to shoot, like, even underneath enemies as well, which is pretty neat. So the only thing you can't do is uh, break bricks with uh, Small Mario. So like, pretty much a small property still carry over. I'm gonna go ahead and take this a little slow here, because we want to avoid these potaboos. Go ahead and shoot down this fake Bowser, and save another host from the radio show. And also another thing to note is after each castle level, the timer will count down to add up score. This does not happen in the original game. So there we go. <laughs> that was like one of the quirks of the hitbox with small fire. You can just shoot that lucky two from underneath and not worry about it. Alright, so I'm going to keep my coins at 98 here. The reason being is... The way how fireworks um, are in this game. So if I have like the same number of my coin, like the last number of my coin count and the last number of my timer match. So if it's an even number, I'll get six fireworks. If it's an odd number, I'll get three. Um, if it's a multiple of 11 in my coin count and I get either the odd or even number, I'll get a one up plus either three or six fireworks. So in this case, we can pretty much get a six on the timer and not worry about getting fireworks like we do in SMB1. But as long as I don't have a 6 at the end of my coin count, then we should be fine with that. So yeah, we're pretty much blazing through the first half of the game right now. Looks like we're already like halfway through World 4. So now we have 4-3 coming up. So we have a, a lot of mushroom tops here. Just gonna try to keep going and not lose momentum anywhere. Gotta make a full jump here because they have these very strange looking platforms where they just go down once you're standing on them. Oh, we got the sound glitch, but we didn't get the, the sky boots frame rule. So pretty much what sky boots is, or in this case sky butt, because we're small. If there's a pixel of sky underneath Mario, after grabbing the flagpole, you can actually get an extra frame move from it. 
Okay, so now we're in 4-4. This is the, the first of two maze levels. And this maze level is actually different from Mario 1. So we're going bottom first, and then we go up here. In the original game, you go top first and then bottom second. Oops. And we just shoot down Bowser, and we're good to go. Alright, so we're halfway through the game. Uh, we're coming up on 5-1, and there there is going to be a bit difference here. Right after 4-4, we have a loading time. And it'll load into 5-1. This is pretty much the same as Lost Levels. Like, there is a loading screen between 4-4 and 5-1. It's just a black screen. Like, it doesn't really say anything like during the loading time. But this is where the difficulty starts to ramp up a little bit. Especially in 5-2, and I feel like 5-2 is like the majority of where runs die in this game. So I'm hoping the bros will be nice here. Okay, so pretty sure the first cannon is gonna shoot. Nope, he didn't. Made a liar out of me. I did not want to land on that Koopa though. I made sure that bro was dead, because sometimes he can throw a hammer, like, right at the spot where I'm going to try to jump on him. And then I would lose my fire that way. Okay, that was close. <laughs> that was a little scary. Um, but we're okay. 5-2 is, like, one of the most scariest levels in this game. Especially with the added height from bouncing off an enemy. Alright, so here we go. 5-3, this is the first instance of a Lost Level stage. This is 4-3 in Lost Levels. Hopefully we don't get any tro troll bills here. Oh, we did. Ah, damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> we got the bad pattern on that bullet bill on the bottom. So now we ended up losing small fire. I could try to grab it again in 5-4. But if I don't get it, then we'll just finish the run with uh, regular fire. Yeah, that that level can be... Like, pretty much World 5 in general is just really bad in this game. Alright, so 5-4 is pretty much the same as 2-4 uh, in Lost Levels. So as we can pretty much see here, um, there's a lot of uh, different stages between the two games, so not every stage is the same, like it is in Mario 1. Uh oh, I lost my speed there. Okay, we're going to try to grab a safety one up here. So what we're going to do is kick this Koopa shell, and then we'll just get a one up right here. Can get pretty deadly in the second half of the game, so... Try to get as much safety as we can. Okay, we'll try to wait it out here. Let's see what Bowser's gonna do. Alright, so we should have a good pattern for him to come over here. Alright, so we got the glitch again. Bit of a minor setback in World 5, but it's expected. So we'll just have an opportunity to get... Uh, Small fire back in 6-1. Although the power-up locations are different. So the mushroom is going to appear here. Instead of the normal top platform. Although the fire flower does stay, stay in the same spot. So I should be able to power back up really quick here. Actually, give me a second. There we go. Hey, what's up, Cosmic? Thanks, dude. Alright, 6-2. Uh, pretty much the same as SMB1. There's gonna be a lot of uh, sniping of the piranha plants here. In this case, some dude that whose name we don't know. <laughs> oh, nice. We got the double kill there. That's pretty good. And since we don't have to worry about the fireworks in this game, or like we do in SMB1... We'll just finish the level straight up, and we'll get a 3 at the end. So 
So now we got 6-3 coming up. Um, sometimes there's a platform that can be a bit dumb here. Let's see if we can at least get past it. Okay, we did. That was the platform I was talking about where I just jumped underneath it. Um, usually when I'm big fire Mario, I would sometimes hit that. <laughs> and I would just go straight into the pit, but thankfully we didn't do that. Alright, so moving on to 6-4. Um, this is pretty much the same as 4-4 in Lost Levels. Um, in SMB1, it's 6-4 uh, is the same as 1-4. Go ahead and head up this vertical corridor. I'm gonna take this bottom route here. Hopefully we'll get a good Bowser. All right, I'm gonna take it a little safe here. And there's a first intro introduction of him throwing hammers. So we still managed to maintain small fire after 6-4, which is good because 7-1 can be pretty deadly with the hammer bros. Because they'll start charging at you. Like, even though they're pretty much walking at a slow pace. But they can be pretty deadly. So what we're just going to do is shoot them down. If they're in our way. Okay, at least the second portion of it was pretty nice. I finished the level with the 353. Normally in SMB1, we'll finish it with the 352 so we can avoid the three fireworks. So we have the, the luxury of the Lost Levels shenanigans. <clears throat> so now we're heading into 7-2. This is the same as 6-2 in Lost Levels. Oh boy. Almost got uh, sucked in there <laughs> by that current. It's pretty much... Oh! Jeez, okay, this is fine. As long as we don't lose the glitch here. I got some gnarly patterns here. So what you see me do there, um, I pretty much pushed down and I started swimming, so it gives Mario a half hitbox, so he's able to- oh my gosh. So he's able to like, push half of his body through the platform- <laughs> platforms and the ground and stuff like that. So that was a bit of a shaky 7-2. Um, almost got killed there by some of the cheeps in the stage. But we're still okay. We still got the small fire glitch and there's opportunities to get two power-ups in this one. Just gotta avoid the cheeps here. As well as the Koopas. Oh, okay. We're fine. <laughs> totally not panicking right now. Alright. Oh no! We got sniped by the cheap. That's not cool, game. That's not cool. Alright, so we don't have small fire anymore. And it's pretty much pointless to go for it in 7-4 because Bowser's going to toss hammers. And we're pretty much towards the end of the game anyway. So we'll just finish the game with big fire. Or just finish the game with big Mario. <laughs> Actually, no, it should be fine still because we can still get a power up in 8-1, which normally isn't seen in SMB1. It's replaced with a 1-up. Okay, so since we had a 9 on the end of the timer, so we're going to see three fireworks here. Heading into 7-4. Same as the 7-4, except the maze patterns are different. So we're going to go top three times here. I believe it didn't repeat itself here. Okay, good. In the second section, we go top, then middle, and then bottom. That should take us to Bowser's Lair. Okay. So we have a mushroom intact, so that's good. And we're gonna grab a fire flower in 8-1. And it's going to be inside an invisible block, which we will see shortly. So it's going to be right here.
normally there would be a one up in that um, in that invisible block. And usually we would hit the star block here, but there is no star block there. It's actually placed in a different spot. The star block is actually right there in that lonely block. Alright. So we have fire back. Except we aren't able to do small fire, which is okay. Alright, 8 2. Getting to the home stretch of the run. Oops. Okay, we're fine. It's a bit close for comfort there. Okay, we're gonna brush, bonk, boing, and we're not gonna bounce here. We're just gonna shoot him down and then we'll just finish the level. That was the Xerox F BBBB strat, sort of, um, which is made famous by Xerox Fiend, who is also a, a Mario 1 runner. Shout out to him. Alright, so this is, I pretty much like to call this the calm before the storm. So we got the same 8 3 as in SMB1, except we got the forward moving bros. I'm gonna try to shoot him as close as possible. So we didn't get those trolley hammers. Alright, so we're coming up on the final stage, 8-4. This is the same 8-4 as Lost Levels. Oh. Dropped the jump input. So now we have one life left. So if we end up game overing here, uh, it's gonna take us back to 8-1. So I gotta play this safe now. Okay. So we're actually swimming in water, it just looks dark because of design choices. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and grab the safety shroom. Okay, I gotta be careful here. I'm not gonna take any chances. Uh, gotta do a duck jump into that gap there. There we go. Alright, coming up into this long corridor. Okay, final room of the game. Get ready on time when I grab the final axe or the final eyeball. Oh yeah, that's a Bruce by the way. Okay, we're gonna let that guy go. Try to go for a clip there. Alright, time is now. And look, we saved a door at the end. But the door is actually not a door. It's actually saving the princess here. So we see, peace is paved with kingdom saved. Hurrah to Mario, our only hero. This ends your trip of a long friendship. And thus, we have saved Princess Toadstool or Princess Peach in a geisha outfit, which I thought was really cool. But anyways, uh, that's All Night Nippon Super Mario Brothers. I hope you guys enjoyed the run. Sorry I couldn't keep Small Fire Mario the entire way. But um, yeah, uh, I'm Supersonic1787 and thank you for watching.